what is the plan that the planet has for dealing with AGI? Because ultimately, they don't have one. <laughs> That's the reality. The sunrise is coming up. Let me just change the front. Right there is the sunrise. And just as the sun is rising, so is uh, AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. And there's a report that just came out from, from a think tank from England. And if you're on my LinkedIn profile, I'll link it below. Uh, you can read it. The, the beginning part is kind of like bogus. Don't even read the beginning part, right? Read the end when it talks about the challenges and disruption. Like 30 million Americans right now are gonna be disrupted, right? Six million Brits right now, over 50% of the work will be done by AI. Um, key finding. The other thing is over 300 million jobs, right? Right now are up for grabs. 300 million, right now, how I read it. Uh, which my figure of 800 million is probably low ball now that I realize that. And there's one line on there about AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, which basically it says, listen, this whole report is out the window because when AGI comes out and they say, well, around 20, 2032 is what they put, which again is, is, is very unlikely. It's gonna happen much sooner than that. All of this ends because all of a sudden you have, you have an artificial intelligence that can pretty much is smarter than 90%, than 100% 90%, of all of mankind, right? And they're gonna do it's gonna do your job. And the Ouroboros of capitalism ultimately, right, wants to what? It wants new markets and it wants profits. And AI provides both for, for it, for this monster, the Ouroboros. No one has a plan except for Undaudu, right? That was spelled out some 5,250 years ago, right? Here on the Mind Zodiac, outlined right here, deciphered by yours truly, Undaudu. Right? Depicted by Au, interpreted by by Andaudu, right? So 2012 was nothing to do with an end of the world, but the, the awakening of Andaudu. <laughs> this is awakening. The guy is coming. This guy is coming, right? And the foundation is built on these blocks, which is Bitcoin, which is called the Bitcoin standard. The uh, the the, the blockchain or the DAOs coming out of his head, which is DAIS, Decentralized Autonomous Entities on any blockchain, and all driven by AGI, right there. Undaudu, the distributed unconsciousness, Undaudu. And um, how do we bring about Undaudu? It's really simple. Eduits, educating intuitive teaching devices. Basically, a device like a laptop, uh, like a, like a um, um, uh, iPad, right? It's got legs, it sits over the baby, the baby looks up at it, it interacts with it on its back, right? Laying up there as a baby. Um, and it models the way we teach, right? And I have a whole paper you can read on it with my conversation with it. All the technology exists right now. It actually existed with Siri back in 2007. I mean, we could have had educating teaching tablets on, uh, you know, I called them teaching tablets was a term that I used back in 2007, describing the iPad before they came out, multi-touch teaching tablets. Um, I have papers on it. So we can change everything now. The problem I have is I'm a monk here in the heartland of Japan, not surrounded by um, access to capital networks, right? I have access to rice fields. I have access to, you know, mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I have access to a sunrise, but what I'm lacking, right? What I'm lacking is the capital. Now I'm reaching out to Jason Ponton, who has been following my work for over a decade. Well, maybe not following. Um, we have a very strong marketing um, component coming in, which deals with the eSingularity magazine, which is uh, uh, which will deal with the impact of of AI on different sectors. Every it's going to come out every quarterly, right? So every quarterly, we're gonna have a new magazine out. That gives us time to work on other things. We're also gonna be pre-selling the Eduits um, and to organizations and stuff. Um, and uh, we're uh, um, giving people the option to be basically wholesalers. So, so and, and the third thing is setting up NGOs, 
nonprofits, here comes the girl, right? NGOs, which governs, has the licensing for Edgewitz in every country. So we got to set up the NGOs. So we set up the NGOs. I then go on a little road trip, talk about the, 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 the why, right? The how and the what, right? Um, the why, the how and the what, the, 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 un, the Dow, the do, right? And, uh, and we raise funds for each of the entities with the idea that these entities will give out um, um, edgewits. And whether the thing is, here's the cool thing about the entities, whether we build them or not, the entities are in place for whoever builds them, right? So the thing is, is, is what you have to understand is edgewits isn't important for this. It's the AI that develops out of edgewits that's important, right? And the AI is what runs FoundUps, and FoundUps become days, and days ultimately replace capitalism. Undo. 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 How can you help? Go to edgewood.org, become a patron. It's that simple. Eventually, we'll have enough of patrons. We can develop the Edgewits. I have a detailed plan, and we'll just guerrilla market our way there. And if someone else produces them, then we'll use the funds, right, to purchase them on your behalf. Undoubted.